Do you ever feel like you have nothing to wear with a closet full of clothes? Well, if you do, you're in the right spot. Because I too have suffered from nothing to wear and I'm here to help. If you're anything like me, you can fall into the trap or the rut where you have one or two outfits that you just always grab and always put on when you have to go somewhere in a hurry or maybe they're just your go-tos and eventually you realize you wear those same things all the time. So I wanted to give you some ideas of outfits when you have nothing to wear, which you probably already have in your closet. They're just some different combinations you can do. It shouldn't take more than five minutes to get dressed when you do these. But what I would encourage you to do is as you do find these outfits in your closet, snap a picture on your phone, save it to a folder on your phone because you're not going to remember all this. Well, maybe you will. I would not remember all this. I have to save things on my phone all the time. But to have a folder on your phone, quick outfits to use so that you can go to it. You have a little catalog of your outfits and you can quickly get dressed in the morning and have tons of options without even having to think very hard. My first tip for getting a five minute outfit together is to try pairing black and white options in your closet together to make an outfit. Really don't need to overthink these things. And by we, I mean me, I overthink everything. But you don't need to overthink black and white. Just put black and white together, you have an outfit. Black denim jeans, a white t-shirt, it actually looks pretty cute and on purpose. It looks much better than if you were wearing a ratty pair of light wash denim and a graphic t-shirt and just letting it all hang out. And of course you wanna make sure you either tuck it in or front tuck or tie it up or something like that so it doesn't look sloppy, but there's your outfit. This could also be a black dress that so you put a white button up shirt over it or a white jacket, white jeans with a black top. Black and white is easy and simple and it's one of the most overlooked combinations I feel like, but I feel like it's coming back this year. It's kind of a little bit of a trend, so keep that in mind when you're looking for outfits to wear. The next outfit combination that is a five minute outfit, super easy when you have nothing to wear, are Spanx leather leggings. They don't have to be Spanx, but I just say Spanx leather leggings because they look nice and they're not see-through or anything like that, but some kind of quality black legging, a white or a graphic tee and a denim jacket. You may not have all of these things. I am gonna find all of these things and I'm gonna link some below in the description if you decide you wanna go out and buy anything. But these three items together make a very cute outfit and it's so simple to do. If you don't have black leggings or you don't like leggings, you could also do a black skirt, black photo leather leggings, um, black pants. And if you wanna go a step further, you could add some jewelry and a hat to this and just make it look like a cute, cute outfit that literally takes a second to put on. Sometimes when you feel like you have nothing to wear, it's really just you get in this habit of putting the same combination of clothing together and you're not thinking outside of that. If you have some pleated pants in your closet, maybe they're from your corporate days or maybe you just like pleated pants, I love pleated pants, try pairing it with a graphic, a basic graphic t-shirt. I feel like that juxtaposition of these nice pleated slacks and then a casual graphic tee just looks so interesting. I personally love it. Pants I have on are kind of bursting out of because I am pregnant and they don't fit me anymore, but I wanted to try to make an example for you, but I love it also paired with a hat. So if you're not a hat person, maybe just stick with jewelry or something, but the graphic tee, the pleated pants, and then adding one other item like a purse or a jewelry or a hat, can really be a cute outfit that looks really interesting that does not take long to put together. This one may seem incredibly basic and this might be one of your outfits you normally wear, but a sweatshirt and jeans is obviously, I feel like lots of people wear that and it's just very basic, but I feel like when you add a headscarf or add a hat or add some jewelry to it and you actually put on some decent shoes like Converse or some flats, I feel like it can look like an outfit without being uncomfortable without trying too hard or having to wear anything that requires much effort. And then the thing that brings it together to make it look like an actual outfit are gonna be your shoes, which just need to be clean and something stylish, like not flip flops, and then a headscarf or jewelry or a hat to kind of pull it together. A very simple combo, and it is a very classic one. You probably already know about this one, but I'm gonna put it in here because it is a five minute outfit, but a white button up shirt, a pair of jeans, throw on some jewelry, you can look really stylish. You could even look very French. It's a very sophisticated look. Of course, you do need to pay attention to your shoes. If you're wearing some ratty shoes or dirty shoes, it will mess up the whole thing. Of course, with this, the icing on the cake is gonna be a belt or some jewelry or a hat or even just a cute bag. This next one is a little tricky, even though it is a common piece of advice, but that is to wear all black. Now, I say it's tricky because sometimes black can actually wash people out and just make them look very 
stiff or like they're going to a funeral or something, but there is a way to make black look good on everybody. And usually that involves putting a belt on, putting some accessories with it. Or if you don't like the way the black looks with your skin, putting some kind of shirt underneath it, like a white button up shirt. So you see the white collar before you see the black. There's lots of things you can do, but an all black outfit is very classic, very easy. However, that being said, you do have to make sure your blacks match each other. You can't have a faded black and then like brand new one and put them together and expect that to look good because it won't. And if you really want to take a step out there even further, pair it with something nude or brown, which makes it look like a really cool outfit. By the way, I do have a video coming up on color combinations that, or maybe you have just dismissed that you probably should revisit. So if you want to subscribe, that'll be coming up soon too. I love this next look and that is a blazer, a graphic tee, and a pair of jeans. I just feel like it looks very 80s, but I love it. I think it looks really cool, looks really classic. For some reason, I really like a blazer paired with a graphic tee. It's like kind of sophisticated and nice with something really casual and unique to you. There are a lot of outfit combinations currently sitting in your closet that you probably don't even know that are there. I think the things to keep in mind are keeping it simple but chic. So like the black and white, it's very simple and it almost seems too simple, but it works. It looks good and it's an easy outfit. And the other thing to keep in mind are those items that normally you thought were corporate -y or reserved for a business meeting or something can be paired with something really, really casual to make a whole different look. And it's a really interesting look too that just gives you this like street cred with style just looks amazing in my opinion so i hope these were helpful i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you like this video a thumbs down if you didn't consider subscribing to my channel i'll see you next time